Hey, babe. I hope you're drinking enough water, getting enough rest, doing your best to uh, let shit go both figuratively and literally. So we're just doing um, a sipping vlog this morning because it is outside of my like eating time. I have had some nuts and I'll have like some fruit if I get hungry, but like like cooked food, um, not um, eating it. So maybe I'll do a video later on. I made, okay, so I said in another video that I was trying to stay away from canned goods and then I had to examine that and I was like, well, this is what I have to work with, so why not? make the chili so I had some like turkey chili with no beans it was probably like for hot dog chili but it had a pretty decent base to it and I put a can of pinto beans a can of goya seasoned black beans and um diced tomatoes into the crock pot I did rinse the pinto beans but I kept most of the seasoning because by the time I realized that the beans were seasoned I was like oh that smells good let me go ahead and use some of that so I did add some oregano and garlic I have found in my cooking times that oregano not um we're gonna talk about the health benefits of oregano but like garlic helps to like offset the canned taste in um, canned vegetables is the weirdest thing to me, but it, it, it doesn't. It. Like, um, you put just enough and it kind of offsets and it doesn't taste garlicky. Then you go a little bit more and then you turn into a vampire, so you won't have to worry about anybody anymore. I'll just say it. But <laughs> okay, Oof, water time. Oof. Mm -mm. And I will acknowledge, like, right now I'm stone sober, so I have not had, um, any, uh, yeah, just some peanuts and water. And this morning's cup of clarity is, um, I left the drops in the kitchen. I had some, it's kind of like a dropper like this, but it has green tea in it, so you put some in a cup of hot water then this is my ginger lime juice so heat up the kettle put about an ounce of that in here has a nice ginger lime oh man it just smells so good to me <laughs> so i love that so that gives that that boost of aromatherapy and then the warmness helps me get some uh, Got to go in or whatever, and I've already had like one reasonably decent poop today. So I'm gonna be pounding my water today so that I can have myself another good poop because, yeah, better out than in. You gotta let that shit go. And my shit's been st stinking a bit more, and I think that is because <laughs> that's because I had the meat. So, um, I've been acknowledging for a while that like meat like makes me sleepy. And um, so I tend to like reduce the amount of it that I eat during the day. And um, I've been eating like tuna and fish and just really pounding my uh, fruits and vegetables. Pomegranates have just been like my go-to like mouthful snack type situation. Um, but yeah, so that, uh, yeah get some stuff out the guts. Now, when I did this uh, a few years back, I, um, and this was prior to 2014, um, I found myself an amazing colon hydrotherapist and I used to get, got a round of colonics and that helped clean out my large intestines. And as I was fasting and eating, I could see myself like shrinking. So, um, I'm mulling over whether or not <laughs> I'm going to do like another version of that or an at-home version. I would need to get like a hot water bottle with um, an enema attachment or what have you. Um, or you can just do the disposable um, enemas. However, I like to do, did I do water? It's been so long, I have to find one of my, I have to find one of my journals to see, like, 
what I wrote down in that. At any rate, so um, yeah. So um, I've been <laughs> with the Mercury being in Gatorade or Lemonade or Retro, whatever alphabet soup thing term. I hear about it in the astrological community, but I don't, I'm not really versed on astrology. That's not my area of interest, like food, plants, that's more like along my line. So I just listen, and it does kind of help me understand a little bit of like what's going on with me energetically, but it's always about examining myself like okay is this for me is this not for me i had an amazing conversation with someone who shared a bit of clarity with me that i want to share with you like when you think about faith hope and love you can lose faith your faith can be tested you can lose hope but you can't lose love because you are love you always have love now whether or not that's the love for yourself or love for someone else. The self-love is the best love. Love yourself so much that people can't stand to either be without you or be around you. It's kind of one of those love-hate kind of things. You love yourself unconditionally. You can love other people where they are, how they are. And, um, yeah, so, um, Oh, I love this um, representation or what have you or example. I'm going to see if I can describe it as best I can. So when we think about our, our, our being, it's kind of like this bottle. So this bottle has this much water in it. And as I'm pouring into other people, out of my bottle, out of my bottle, out of my bottle, I'm even pouring a little bit into myself, eventually, this bottle will be empty. And when your bottle gets empty, what do you do? You blow up. Or sometimes you try to fill it up with whatever you can get to because you're desperate to have something in your bottle. But there is always something in the bottle. It may not necessarily be water, but there is air and space in that bottle. So as you think about nurturing yourself, honoring yourself, the things that you love, the things that you appreciate, the aspects of your life that you want to change, it's important to acknowledge them as they are. So as we open the top of this bottle, this is how water gets put into it there's already air in it if there was no air in it I would be able to suck it out so but we fill this cup and we keep filling this bottle and as this bottle gets to a level of fullness it can't hold any more water so as that water comes out and it overflows that overflow is what you get to share So, and when you're abundantly blessed, you know that when this gets down, you just stop and rest, give yourself some grace, time and space, a little bit of something to eat, maybe get a hug, maybe sit and meditate, look at a tree. And think of all of the wonderful aspects of life that are there for you and just you. Trying to, um, I don't have my cars all packed up because I'm getting ready to uh, travel some. We're gonna figure out how I'm gonna record and uh, I, I intend to at least record something while I'm there and then we'll see what else we got here. So, um, <laughs> the reminder, from the universe is to stop obsessing baby you are not the center of the fucking universe you are the center of your universe so so as you grow and expand give yourself some grace know that 
being around people, <laughs> interacting with other human beings is a part of life. And that's part of what I'm studying and learning about now. I've studied communal living for quite a while as I'm banding about on my quasi-North American walkabout. I live with family and friends who have bartered and traded. Um, my time, knowledge, presence, and expertise um, in hospitality and, and nutrition as I work to heal myself and learn about food and yeah, just so um, preparing the, the set of um, podcast episodes that are going to be um, shared on my podcast Homeschool with Nicole Nixon. Uh, give me a comment down below. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> something. Say hi. <laughs> Thank you so much for those who have started to interact with me and uh, the work that I put out. I sincerely appreciate you. You are an encouragement to me to keep going. You are an encouragement to me to continue to share because my hope is that as I'm sharing my story, you can understand that your story is worth telling, that your life is worth living, that you are valuable, you are worthy of love, regardless of your past experiences. Each day is new, and you renew yourself, put your ego on the shelf, and sit in to listen. Like, we all have a little something that we'd like to be better. And we all have an abundant amount of blessings and opportunities that are a part of every single day that we're alive. So if you're alive, you are meant to be here. You are alive and you are meant to be here. I have to remind myself of that sometimes because sometimes I don't feel like I am. Sometimes I don't feel like my presence matters. And then I meet someone and make them smile. I give them a reason to smile. I don't make them smile. You need to smile more. Maybe you don't feel like smiling. That's great. Before I tell someone to smile, I'm like, I'd rather give them a reason to smile. You look so beautiful. I love your eye. Oh man, your hair is inspiring. I saw a guy last night at meditation who had a beard. It was kind of like a reddish beard and his hair was like sandy blonde and it was like, that's naturally how it grows out. So I'm like, cool. Because I love facial hair. If you <laughs> watch these for a bit and you see me talk about it because I can't grow any. I like the facial hair on other people other than these little four face chin hairs right here. That's my little beard type situation. But yeah, and he let me touch it too. So just like, oh. <laughs> so yeah, that makes my day every time I get to play in somebody's beard or uh, help someone by uh, encouraging them to smile or be seen or appreciated because I feel like that is what we need more of in the world. I was listening to a lecture this morning in a coaching group I recently joined and they were talking about the fact that like when they share their wins in the group that they get like love for it. And I'm just like, wow, that is so dope. I'm not around people that do that. Like no I feel like nobody around me wants to see me win because they're not doing what they wanna do. And I am. I yeah, I am doing what I wanna do. I am living within my purpose bit by bit, moving forward and um yeah. So we're just going to make this a little short one today because I've got some more loving movement to do, studying yoga. I noticed that I have some bruises on my leg and because I fell the other day and I was like, oh man, that's just going to be interesting to, uh, I mean, it is what it is. I was like, nobody's going to want to see me naked. I'm just like, well, whoever sees me naked is probably not going to be concerned with the bruise on my leg. And if they are, then cool. And if they aren't, then that's cool too, because I am. So, but yeah. Uh, there is a link in the description to book a 
a call video or a down payment for a cuddle session as well as a link to my cuddle companions profile feel free to shoot me a message through there take a look at the services that i offer if you want to have a conversation about how we can work together a little bit more i'm here to help you I am Coley the mom and shaman, she man, ant man. Come on, man. It's a man's world that needs a woman's touch. But do I have to be man enough? I mean, um, I do have a lady penis. It's called a clitoris. My balls are called ovaries. But I'm over these petty comparisons. Compare with me, son, or daughter. You have to learn for yourself to love yourself for yourself. Because you are amazing and wonderful. And not broken, though people will say, yes, we are. You're not broken. Your thinking is. If you get rid of the stinking thinking and let some shit go and start to learn a little bit more about yourself, what it is you like, what it is you want, the contributions that you want to give to the world, and the contribution that you already have made to the world, because your presence here matters. So, I appreciate you. I'm going to close this one out. Love you so much. You're beautiful. You're sexy. <laughs> You're amazing. And your butt looks nice. Have a great day or night.